Watermelons, this is Zeph from Russell here, bringing you a quick tutorial on how to reset a forgotten password and or username. It's all happened to us before. You put in your username, and then you put in your password. You click login. Then it comes up and says access denied. You do not have permission to perform the request operation. This is either caused by an invalid username or an invalid password. Now the first thing to do is not panic because this is a very easy process to reset your username and or password. The first thing you're going to want to do is click on the first link in the description below. It will take you here. First thing you want to do here is put in your new password that you want it to be. So I'm just going to put test1. Then you're going to want to click Generate MD5 Hash. This will generate a bunch of numbers and letters that correlate with your password that you have put in here. You're going to want to select all these numbers and letters and, and press Command C for copy. Then you want to go into your finder and you want to make sure first that mcmyadmin is completely shut down. First thing you want to do, slash stop. Then you want to do slash quit. If I, if I could type. There we go. Now I've quit out of mcmyadmin. Now you can close this window. Now you want to go into your finder. You're going to want to locate first your MC My Admin folder. Now my folder is called MC MA2 Latest. This is what it looks like when you first download MC My Admin. Then you want to locate, you're going to open this folder and you're going to want to locate mcmyadmin.conf. Now the file type, like right here, it may look like this, which it thinks it's an executable file. So it thinks it's going to open up with terminal. Or it's going to look like this, and it's not going to know what to do with it. Either way, you want to go to, you're going to want to right click, open with, other. Scroll down, find text edit. Click, open. Now, you want to make sure, again, that mcmyadmin is completely quit out and is not running in the background. As you can see, it is not for me. You're going to want to scroll down. Near the bottom, you're going to find this, login.passwordmd5 equals. This is your current password string. Now, if you want to, you could take this and put it into an md5 hash decoder and it will tell you what your password is right now. But the easiest way is to put in, again, put in your password here, click generate MD5 hash, and copy right here. Copy what is right here. Once you have done that, I'm just telling, I told you that again just to make sure you understood. And you want to go here and select all this and press Command V to paste in your new string. Now if you've forgotten your username, go right here and put in your new username. Now I'm going to put in admin and then you can close this file and you can quit out of text edit by doing command Q. Now you're going to want to run mcmyadmin open terminal, press command N for a new shell. Put in CD space, drag in the folder, return, then mono space MC my admin dot exe. You're going to want to make sure 
that you have all the capitals exactly the same as the file here. Once you have done so, click Return. This will start up your MCMyAdmin server. Once it's done, go over into your web browser and go to your login page once again. Put in your new username and your new password. Click login. As you can see, it has worked and your password has been changed and your username has been changed. This will be your new password and new username until you want to change it again. This is a very simple process, so once again, don't panic if this ever happens to you. Just refer back to this video and watch how to reset your password and or username. If this tutorial helped you out, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you want more like this. If you have any problems, feel free to leave your problem and detailed description in the comment section below and I'll help you figure out how to fix the problem. I'm Ephraim Russell, and I'm signing off. I'll see you next time. Bye.